Cheers, everybody. Welcome back to another beer review. And in this beer review, we have got a Kolsch style beer. Uh, anybody who knows what a Kolsch style beer is, it's a kind of like a lager type of beer, which is um, basically synonymous with the German area, the Cologne area in Germany. And it's a collaboration, this one. This is from Magic Rock, collaborating with a Dutch brewery, which I cannot pronounce, but it'll be in the uh, thing below. The title, should I say. <laughs> so here we are, Super Smashing Grey. Quite a stunning looking can. I'll give it a twist for you. And there you go. This is clocking in at 4.8% ABV. It is uh, malt, golden promise and peels in the malt. Hops a T90, German Comet, German Cascade and Laurel. Um, yeast is WLP029 Kolsch. We all knew that, didn't we? We all knew he had that in. God, I don't know why I bother reading that one out. Um, <laughs> um, it's brewed and canned at the HQ in Huddersfield. And there you go. Let's crack this open, shall we? I do like the look of this can. I've got a feeling this can's going to work its way in there. <laughs> See what we get. Yeah, it's lovely. Lovely, slight, crisp lemon note there. Slight hoppiness there. Slight pine-ness there. It absolutely smells gorgeous. It does. It smells fresh. To make my mouth water. A little bit like what Ainsley Harriet's mouth waters when he cooks on his cookery programs. You notice that? No, not really. I don't think there's many people watch cookery programs who watch me. But it it, it does smell gorgeous. Um, so yeah, I do like Magic Rock and that brewery underneath. This is the first I've ever heard of that brewery, which I put in the title underneath. As you can see, it's a little bit lively, boys and girls. It's a little bit lively. I do uh, apologise for that. As you can see, it's yeah, it's straw colour, tons of carbonation, very busy in there. As you can see, busy, busy, busy. Um, I think I'm gonna go in, you know. So cheers, everybody. That is lovely. That is really, really nice. Um, so I'll top it up. Get through the froth. Hang on. That's it. Get through that froth. Top it up. Um, I'm going again. Really nice. Lovely freshness about this beer. As soon as it hits, hits your mouth. Um... It's a slight crispness to it. There is a little lemony hoppiness there to it. A lovely little hoppy character, which is like a trait all the way through. Little biscuity notes splashed everywhere in this. Well, on the back end, yeah, it's, 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 it's quite slightly crisp and dry on the back end, but it's cracking. It really is. It is a lovely light mouthfeel to this. I'm gonna go in, cheers. Lovely light mouthfeel to this. It does remind me of crisp bread in a way, but it's cracking. It is, it's lovely. It really is. It's, it's, it's a, this beer, oh, I could chug a load of this all day, every day. <laughs> It is. It's, it's, it's cracking stuff. I go one more time for the road, boys and girls. One more time for the road. Mm, just lovely. There is a slight yeasty presence. You can get the yeast in this as well. But it's really, really nice, you know. Uh, this style of beer, the Kolsch beer, I'm a big, big, big fan of. Big fan of. Um, I've reviewed some in the past. And I'll tell you what, I've loved every one of them. Cause they're just, just really, really nice. It's good, honest, tasty stuff, boys and girls. And you can't go wrong with that. So I highly recommend this. Magic Rock. 
and that brewery down there, Houdini. Houdini indeed. Cracking stuff. Thank you very much for watching this beer review, as ever. <coughs> oh, you all stars. See all of you on my next one. Cheers.